Welcome back to SATV, oh, yeah. where we're uh, going to be discussing today interior design and the ancient Chinese art of feng shui, mm -hmm. and how you can bring that into your home to incre increase the positive energy flows. Mm -hmm. yeah. I have uh, my guest here, Jacob. Hello. He's uh, an expert on feng shui. Well, thank yeah. you for saying that. Well, that means a lot. You are an expert. Uh, yeah, yeah, I certainly have thought about it a lot and done a lot of um, alternative research and... We have today a feng shui hobbyist, Jacob. Yes. Um, and he is going to help us uh, feng shui some rooms. Yeah. See if we can design a smoother energy flow. And I'm, I'm really looking forward to hearing uh, what you have to say about it, given your expertise with feng shui. And I see you've started us off in a really, well, a room with a lot of potential. The poor soul who lives in here is getting all sorts of energy from all sorts of directions. And I'm just excited to see what we both can do with the place to really make it shine. Well, this is my room. Oh, oh, I'm, I'm so sorry. I, I didn't, I didn't mean to. Yeah. This happens a lot, actually. I'm really I'm sorry. I, I get ahead of, I assume, and yeah. I make an ass out of me and also you, I guess. Wow. Uh, well, I, you know, it's... I don't mean to, I'm, I'm sensing, you know, our energies are, uh, you know, I'd put a big dresser right here right now if I could to remedy things, but I, I don't know if that would help with this conversation. A shoebox? Might give me a place to put some of my clothes. Why don't you uh, walk me through how you like to use this space? Well, uh, um, this is... Your bed, I, I take it? Uh, no, 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 this is a sofa couch. Oh. Um, I sit there. This is where you do your studies? Well, we were just sitting there. That's where I sit. I've, just, I've never seen a piece of furniture like this before, so if I could just get a little bit more of an understanding of what this is used for, I think that would really... Well, it's for two or more people to sit down, like we were just doing. All right, let's just move on. But this is my bed. Oh, this is your bed. Oh, okay, now I see it. Okay, I was, I was distracted by all the, the lines. I, I suppose. supposed to sleep and that's where I sit. Okay. Yeah, this oh. is where I put my clothes. This is where you keep the dry cleaning before it goes out and comes back in? Um, no, clean. You don't dry clean these? To clean clothes, mostly. You should dry clean these. This is, this is dry clean only, I'm pretty sure. I have a shirt just like this, and I dry clean it. You know, I'm just getting a phone call. This is my desk over here. This is where the magic happens. Oh, yeah, you... Planning out floor plans and yeah, that like kind of thing. TV stuff. Right, right, of course. In addition to being a renowned expert of feng shui, you're also a... Uh, well, I don't know how much of an expert I am anymore, to be well, honest with you. I, would, I was led to believe that you were a leading expert in feng shui. <laughs> well, I, was led, I was led to believe that this was my show. You know, I'll... Ottoman. Right here between us. And then this is a this is a door too. Oh. Um, so oh, I just wow. open that one. And sure, I'll open this one. This should be. So it go in? Or, I, I'm having trouble with this door. It should go. It should go out. I can't. I'm not. I think I'm just having trouble opening things today. Oh, it goes this way. Oh, it's nice out here. Ah, huh. pretty. Sometimes the most important Sam? thing you can learn in feng shui is how to shut Sam? out the negative energy and uh, allow Sam? yourself to live peacefully Sam, in funny. your own space. Sam? Thank you for attending. I told you I can't open doors. Sam!